But oops, <laughs> it's restarted. <laughs> hey, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone. Thanks for thanks for joining me today. Mm, let me let me catch up with you. Hey Chris, hey, take your time. Looking forward to watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a bit. Um, I don't know. So I I I'm already used to streaming on you know on Twitch, but but these YouTube settings are just are just killing me. Oh, and, so um, streaming on YouTube is is uh, giving me a hard time still, and uh, and you know what happened? I just couldn't warm up the room. This room is uh, at the northern side of the apartment, and uh, I don't know. I just turned off the heat for the night, uh, you know, for the entire night. I didn't want it to heat this room while I'm not here, and. And I just couldn't, I couldn't uh, warm it up. <laughs> I couldn't warm it up. So right now I'm wearing, I'm wearing sneakers inside of my room because it's just, it's too, too cold. But hopefully it will get warm soon. It's, it's getting, it's getting better. It's already better. Uh, hey Nick, good to see you. Moi Lepke, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Um dream forum how do you mean that how do you mean that oh no okay i i just uh, i just caught up with <laughs> uh with the chat oh my god chris that sounds that sounds awful <laughs> That's unusual. Yeah, yeah. I I just realized my lepkem. I just realized that. Mark Harris. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome. Hey, Rihanna. That we have we have uh one member in the chat. Sweet, sweet. Welcome, Rihanna. That. All right. Um, Rihanna. That members can have one free song request once uh, once a month on this channel so if you would like to hear something i'm gonna play that but only at the end of this stream so i'm gonna start with my regular program and at the end of this stream i'm gonna play song requests and um, people who are not members of the channel yet can trigger the song request by um you know, cheering. No, just kidding. So <laughs> it's not Twitch. I know it's not Twitch. So by using the super chat and the super stickers or leaving a regular tip or by becoming a member. So everyone who's who's doing any kind of uh, financial support uh, to this channel will get a free, uh, will get a song request. We'll, we'll get a song request. You don't, yeah, you don't have your bits. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you, but feel free to play anything you like uh, to end the stream. All right, all right, I will, I will figure out, figure it out then. How are you guys? Good to see you. Good to see everyone. <laughs> uh, it's nice, it's nice being back. Nice being back here. Now, what's gonna happen today? My plan is to play a couple of pieces for you written by a Hungarian romantic composer from the 19th century and named Johann Kaspar Mertz. Johann Kaspar Mertz. And um, the reason I decided to do this is that I had a hand injury uh, which prevented me from playing the guitar for over two weeks. <laughs> which, which was insane. So I started practicing again this week and I was, you know, I was looking for some kind of motivation. I wanted to figure out how to, you know, how to just, just motivate myself into practicing seriously again. And I decided this YouTube stream would be a good reason. So I'm going to show you a few stuff. And feeling better, it's it's good. Uh, today I felt some that something's weird, so probably I overstretched it yesterday. But in general, it's healed. I I would say it's it's good, but uh, I'm still being very, how do you say that? I'm cautious. 
Yeah, I'm still very cautious with it. So for those who don't know, I had a hand injury involving this part of my finger, which prevented me from, uh, from practicing. And now that I can actually practice again, I just want to show you some progress I made uh, over the past week. I'm going to show you a piece I just picked up and I started to, to practice just lately. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's that's what I'm going to do. Now, for just a nice warm up or just uh well, I did I did warm up. <laughs> but in this room, it just it's not it's not helping. Mm. So I'm going to start with a simple adagio, a very very simple nice adagio. Let's see how it sounds. Final Fantasy is my favorite soundtrack. Uh, Ashwin, no, I cannot. I cannot, but um, I can play. Whoops. I can play uh, the Undertale theme song from from the Undertale ge uh, Undertale game, and I also can play the Last of Us theme song. Um, so if you would like to hear any any songs, uh, if you would like to request a song, you just have to become a member of this channel or uh, or use a super super chat or just donate uh, by a tipping page by using the link you see in the chat. That's how you can make a song request. And you can find the songs I can play on my song list. everything in the chat but if something is not clear just ask me All right, so this was a Dajo by Johan Kasper Mertz. I'm gonna leave, I think, the song list after after the stream. I will edit the description so you will see what I'm playing. What a beautiful, wonderful song with a touching melody, bravo. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. I'm happy you like it. Yeah, it's it's fairly simple, but but still it's just I don't know, it's it's so so powerful, I think. Up next, Unruhe by the same composer, Johann Kaspar Merz, and it means restless. Mm.
This was Unruha again. Um, guys, do you know the composer? Have you ever heard of Johann Kaspar Mertz? If you haven't, um, I think I, I highly, highly recommend you to um, Google him up. He has many, many, many compositions. Um, yeah, he has a very well-defined style, so it's really recognizable. Um, it, and it's great, it's great, I love it. Fra, thank you. Ian, hey, hey, hey. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? What what are you up to right now? I mean, obviously, I'm playing guitar, but what what do you do? What do you do right now? Um, Brandon, hey, do you like electric guitar? Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I'm I'm really not a huge fan. I like um a very simple sounding instruments you know like so f i i really like the acoustic sound i really like the natural simple sound of of nylon strings i i really can appreciate that so i'm i'm just not a huge fan of, of electric electric instruments in general although there are some i don't know if it if it means some interesting concept like the enya next gi own uh, I'm of course I'm into it, but in generally I'm not a huge electric guitar fan. I appreciate how you became the music from the very first note inspirational. Yeah, otherwise it's it just you know it just doesn't worth it. It it isn't worth it, I guess. Hmm. All right, let me mention again how you can support this stream and my work with uh, super chat, super stickers, uh, general tipping and uh, becoming a member of my channel. And uh, by becoming a member, you will get early access to my videos and uh, you can use the, you know, the channel emotes, channel emotes. I'm going to show you what the channel emotes are, <laughs> if I can. Yeah, some channel emotes like these. There are some videos on my channel which are only available for members, so they are not, not public at all. And uh, you will get access to um, a special private channel, a VIP channel on my Discord server. I practice right now. Is there some exercise to help with reach on threads? Um, yeah, I, I made, well, I, I made a stretching video. That was one of my first videos on YouTube. So if you go to my channel, there's, there's a video 
one of the earliest, as I said, and it's uh, it's all about stretching exercises. I think it's it's very helpful. Hmm. For us, gather technique. What is the best way to practice it? How long does it take to master it? I think it takes uh, quite some time. And uh, one, the most important concept, as far as I I experienced it. So it's it's I I only can talk from my experiences. But what you have to keep in mind is uh, that every movement has uh, has the sequence of. Uh, tension and relaxation so uh, and many people forget the relaxation part especially when they are playing rasgados so when i used to learn rasgados what i did is uh, it's just a simple exercise but i trained my fingers to be able to relax under a very short time let me show you what i mean so i'm just going to do rasgados it's a certain strumming technique for those who are not familiar with it it's a it's a spanish strumming technique for the right hand picking hand sorry 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 for my sorry, um, excuse me my left-handed um colleagues and and brothers and sisters <laughs> so what i what i do i prepare my fingers for the rasgado and i strike with my fingers one by one this is a tense movement. This is uh, this requires tension, and after the strike, I relax my finger. So, tension, relax, tension, relax, tension, relax, tension, relax, and this is what I this is what I implemented into my rasgado technique. Um, and of course, you can't really do that in a very fast tempo uh, all the time but it's just it's just a mindset you have to implement into your technique uh, that's one thing and another thing you can help yourself with is not to wave with your hand too much so what i also see uh with that i don't know people people are struggling with rasgado because they are waving with their hand everywhere but um when I play rasgado, the bass knuckles here are not moving at all. So only my fingers are doing that. So only the fingers are moving. Um, I hope I hope this is uh, this is helpful. Oliver, hey, welcome, welcome everyone, <laughs> welcome. Good to have you here, guys. Uh, up next, I'm going to play um, another piece by the same composer. It's gonna be Capriccio, Capriccio by Metz. Okay, this is this is gonna be a challenge. <laughs>
words with peace. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> My my right hand my right hand got confused a couple of times. <laughs> I hope it was enjoyable. Mm, what is the song or melody that made you fall in love with classical guitar? Ah, uh, I don't know. Um, honestly, I'm not this very intense intense passionate person so it's not like oh i hear something and i'm in love but i'm more of a learning something to love by learning by, by exploring the layers of it uh, if that makes sense to you so it's not like i see something and i just fell in love with it and it's same with friends for example or people i'm just not i'm just not attracted to things by you know just just by the first glance um but the more layers i discover of a certain thing like art like classical guitar painting people the more i learn to appreciate it and i think the same happened with classical guitar so when i was a kid i was just it was just a fun activity i liked to do it i i enjoyed uh, practicing and preparing and going to the music school it was you know it was a big fun mostly because of the social part yeah like onions yeah, yeah. and like shrek <laughs> and uh, so i just i just really enjoyed it but then i discovered the subtle details of what makes what makes a performance um, to stand out, you know, and then then I learned just more and more about music, and and the more subtle things I experienced, uh, the more I learned to appreciate it. I guess. Do you like box air? I know maybe it's overplayed sometimes, but amazing melody. I do I do love it. I do love it, and uh, I played it in a guitar quartet. I played the upper, you know, the upper line, the first first violin part, uh, in a guitar quartet a long time ago, like five years ago or something. It was really fun, and uh, our quartet, the guitar quartet I was playing in, we got an opportunity to travel to Italy and to play a concert there, and we were we were playing that uh, Bach air. It was fun. It was great. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so I play I play lots of over overplayed pieces, guys. I I do I do play them. It's great, and uh, um, I personally believe that there's a reason why these pieces are overplayed. You know how how they become overplayed because they are just so good. Everyone wants to play them. Hmm. No, I, I can't. I can't play flamenco. It's a completely different style. It requires a lot of uh, dedication and and different type of work than what I'm doing. Play Asturias, please. Well, I actually can play Asturias, but uh, on this channel, um, some requests are tied to financial support, like becoming a member or. Uh, tipping or using super chat or super super stickers so any any um, support you show to the channel will give you uh, one song request and this is this is my song list this is where you can read uh, this is where you can read everything I can play okay up next Mm, there was another question which is the song that that you love now the closest to your soul now hmm that's a good question uh, maybe Pasakaya by Alexander Tansman and I can't play that but I'm working on it it's gonna be a long 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 run 
it's gonna take a long time for me to to learn how to play that but uh, it's Pasakaya by Alexander Tansman So this was Tarantella by Johann Kaspar Merz. I hope you enjoyed it. There was a part where I was completely lost. <laughs> I have to check it out. I think I think I missed. I think I just jumped over two bars at some point. 
I hope you didn't notice it. I, I'm not sure. I will have to check it later. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, Tarantella by the same composer. Um, let me let me catch up with you. Do you recommend playing piano songs like Bach and Beethoven's on guitar? Um, not really, not really. Um, they are mostly not comfortable for the guitar, and it's nearly impossible to perform them musically correctly so when you play a song it's just it's not about you know just playing the notes and finding the uh, the comfortable po um, positions and and stuff like that it's all about the music and how you connect certain notes how you articulate certain notes and um, and keeping that articulation consistent through the entire piece um, on, and also how you balance with the different voices. And if a piece was written on the piano, that's probably, I mean, there, there's a really high chance that it won't fit the, on the guitar really comfortably. So you are going to have to sacrifice a lot in order to make it playable. But by sacrificing um, details, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I personally don't like to play piano pieces on guitar because it just, it's a lot of compromise to make. And it's not easy. It's not easy to decide what you want to let go and what, you, what you're going to keep, what you're going to discard. It's super tricky and it's, it's emotionally exhausting to be honest. <laughs> I tried doing, I tried making some arrangements um, when I was younger, but I always found it very stressful. It was really stressful. Mm. So now I'm trying to focus on the repertoire, which is already, you know, working really well on guitar. Hope this helps. Uh, well, I just discovered your channel fantastic subscribe thank you thank you Will's classical guitar project that's sweet that's sweet um what are you working on Will? i'm sure you are practicing some cool classical guitar pieces lately as well um albany stuff is a good example of this uh albany's albany's is an interesting example because you get to keep a lot without, you know, without discarding uh, important details, and it fits fits on the guitar really well. But for example, an ex exam uh, for example, um, Chopin Chopin pieces on classical guitar, I don't really like them personally. Or Eric Satie, it just. I mean, uh, it's not like I don't like them on classical guitar because I also play Eric Satie on classical guitar, but uh, a lot of details and the lightness just gets lost. Remember me when you make it big on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Um, how old I am? I'm, I'm turning 27 this year and I'm just, I can't, I can't, I just can't. I can't handle it. I'm already very, very sad. Every time I wake up and I, I realize that I'm 27 this year, I just can't digest it. It's too much. How is that song spelled? You mean, um, uh, 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 Pasakaya. I, what, I, I was mentioning the Pasakaya. Wait till you hit 30. <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> You know, if I continue my life as I did it so far, I won't hit 30, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm an all-timer learning, so pretty much beginner pieces. That's cool. That's cool. There are so, 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 so many amazing beginner pieces out there. I still play some of them because they are just so um, fun and bright. I was playing a, a beginner level piece at the, I mean, a fairly beginner level piece at the, right at the beginning of this stream. So how you write it? Uh, Basa Kaya by Alexandri. 
This is my current favorite piece. You can see it in the chat. You and Brandon Acker just brought me back to playing or trying to play guitar again. Oh, love the passion and the dedication to the craft. Thank you. That's so sweet. I'm so, I'm so, 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 so happy to read this. This is the best, you know, this is when, when I hear that my work inspires someone to play the guitar. That's, that's one of the biggest joy in my life. Seriously. It's great. Um, it's amazing. All right. Um, let me, let me inspire to make stupid mistakes, guys, by playing something for you, which I just started to learn. It's, it's a fairly new piece. I'm still experimenting with it. It's still not uh, as fluent or as not, not as, um, not as light as I want it to be, but it's a work in progress and I hope you will enjoy my, my, um, uh, you know, my progress. In the meantime, let me mention quickly that if you enjoy your time here and if you're having fun, make sure to give this video a li like. Yeah, make sure to, to like it. It helps me a lot. You know, it, it mm, helps me to reach more people. And if you would be so kind to leave a comment as well, that would be that would be super, super sweet and nice of you. <laughs> anything, you know, just, just anything. It, you know, helps me and it pushes uh, this live stream through the evil YouTube algorithm. <laughs> All right, Romance by Johan Kaspermetz. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, this went this went slightly better than I expected, to be honest. I, I thought I will screw up uh, the entire piece when I want to show you how it sounds right now, guys. <laughs> no, so this is Romance. This is Romance by Johan Kasper Mertz. And, um, and I think it's, it's a beautiful, very, you know, dynamic and versatile piece. And it's just really exciting. I really wanted to show you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, Nexus. Hey, hey, hey. Let me catch up with you. Let me see what's going on in the chat. Greetings from Greenfield, Indiana, USA. Great. Ah, uh, Brent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, greetings from Hungary as well. Hope you enjoy your time here. Karen, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Cool cat. That's that's an awesome, awesome uh, username. Guys, thank you for the sweet words. You are you are the best. You're amazing. Do you have a dream guitar? Uh, no, no, not not really. Um, you know what? Yes, but it's not really classical. So I'm really happy with my current guitar. It has its limits for sure. Um, it it does because it's a very traditionally built guitar, and I enjoy that a lot. But uh, yeah, so it it has its limits. Uh, wait a second. I just see the color correction is not really good. Boop. And now it's good. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to cover the camera. Um, so what I was about to say is that I really, really want to get a romantic guitar one day, a romantic classical guitar one day. Uh, maybe with some extra strings, I'm not sure, but uh, but the romantic guitar is something I'd really love to have, um, especially because I'm playing all these uh, 19th century uh, music and 19th century pieces, which would just fit on on an older type of guitar just so well and so amazingly, and I would love to I would love to have a romantic guitar at some point. <gasps> Paper Tiger, hey, I just found the drawing I made of you the other day and I was laughing and I was wondering, hmm, what, uh, what's, what's, you know, what, what, uh, what's up with Paper Tiger? I hope, yeah, I hope it's all right. Everything's fine. Yeah, Paper Tiger, the problem with the camera setting is that um, as so now now it's almost dark, but when I start streaming, um, the sun is already up and as it goes down, uh, it's, you know, the entire setting, it's just everything changes. So I like to leave it on auto because then it, it always finds uh, the best setting for the current situation. The only thing I have to do is to cover the lenses and uh, you know just cover for a second and then to to leave it for just one minute or i mean for just one second uh after after the sun is down <laughs> and that's it that's all i have to do hey swordfish hey 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 what did i miss another member another member that's great all right we had two members in the chat today which is cool members get one free song request uh every month so Swordfish, uh, please head over to the song list and choose something you would like to hear. And everyone else, if uh, you would like to request something from my song list, you can do that by leaving a tip um, using super chat, super stickers or becoming a member and I'm going to play something for you. Carrie, thank you. That's super sweet. <gasps> Sean, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. Thank you for the $10. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, 
Okay, now this is everything I planned for the for the Johan Kasper Mertz performances. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked the pieces I just presented. I'm working on these and I, I want to record them at some point. And uh, yeah, it was it was a really nice challenge for me to play these pieces for you today and you know to just uh, get back into I don't know, more of a performing perspective after my injury. So it's it's good that I'm practicing again and, and I motivated, I don't know, I just forced myself to stream today and I forced myself into performing th these pieces. It was super helpful for me as well. And I hope it was enjoyable on your end. $10 is nothing compared to what I'm receiving. Thanks to all that sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sheep on the mountain, Beltrix, please. Andrea, Andrea, you can request it. Uh, you can complete your request by, you know, by tipping, cheer, uh, not cheering. No, what, what I just mentioned. All right, in order, I'm going to start with, um, with romance, Spanish romance. In the meantime, Swordfish, is there anything you would like to hear? Prelude, okay, gotcha. So this was Spanish Romance uh, by Anonymous. Thank you so much for tipping, Sean, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Hope it was your like. Uh... Hey gods, good to see you. It's really good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Seno Gear, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm happy you like it. And uh, the two more song requests will be. Uh, 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 I'm gonna start with the Ponce Prelude for Swordfish. Let me see if I can play that actually. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure about that middle section still. Wait a second, how was that? I 
can jump here. I, I hope I will I will make it. Look, hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you here. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing today? Thank you so much for the 20 euros. That's you're out of your mind. You're an insane, Luke. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anything you would like to hear from the song list? Please let me know. I'd, I'd love to play something for you. Cool cat. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's just really hard to... It's really hard to settle down with one, uh, you know, one historical, you know, one time period, right? One style. It's impossible. It's uh, this world. I mean, the classical music world is just full of gems, and I mean, you know, gemstones. Like I, <laughs> I mean that my pronunciation is funny. I know. Um, I, I don't know. It's just hard to settle down with one style, isn't it? Okay, Prelude by, uh, by Manuel Ponce. And uh, so Prelude number eight by Manuel Ponce. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, in my defense, I'm not practicing this piece anymore, but it's just so beautiful. I, I really wanted to give it a go. I really wanted to try it. Uh, I should practice it again because it it definitely, I don't know, it just it deserves it deserves to be played really well. But uh, but I hope I hope you get the or I, I hope you got the atmosphere and I hope it was enjoyable. <laughs> And also, um, I'm very, very critique to myself. So I'm just, pff, just ignore me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be just very, very critique with myself after every piece I play. <laughs> Account email. Hey, welcome, welcome back. Let me catch up with you. Uh, hey, Beatrix, is this channel about classical guitar only? If so, that's cool. 
to see classical guitar having audience it yeah it's it's nice nice to see how this channel is growing i mean i i didn't it's just yeah it it has a surprisingly nice community by now which is great um yeah so this this channel is mainly about classical guitar so uh, like 90 percent of the time it's about classical guitar but i'm sharing so i'm sharing classical guitar pieces recordings and tips uh, and techniques for classical guitarists but on the other hand i'm sharing um for example like my uh, my general experiences about how to you know how to become a full-time musician about uh, gear and for example i have a metronome re review on my channel i have a guitar review so many different type of things and if this is your liking make sure to subscribe on my channel and if you're already there please 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 uh like this uh stream uh, give this live stream a like and please leave a nice short comment something <laughs> uh, leave leave a comment and uh, that really would help me a lot with the youtube algorithm you know how it works mm. do you play bach fugues um i only learned one bach fugue um the e e flat e flat major fugue uh, but i i can't play that right now <laughs> i'm not practicing it now when is your new album coming up? Christopher, it's already out. Um, it's already out. If you scroll down to the description box, you already can see some links to my album. But wait a second. Uh, yeah, this is my album. This is how it looks. Oops. Ah, this is how it looks. And I think it's beautiful. It's a matte repack case. Um, this is the back and uh, now that you mentioned let me <laughs> let me promote it a little bit so if you would like to have a physical cd on your i don't know on your on your shelf uh you know as as just uh for yourself um you can buy you can buy a cd from me directly through my band camp and you know it's just i i can you know i can sign it for you on the front on the back whatever works for you I'm going to ship it personally to you. And let me just drop a link in the chat quickly. Because I would love to do that. It's a great album. Thank you. Thank you. So this is, uh, this is the link. You can find it in the chat now. It's there. It's already there. <laughs> but it's on Spotify and YouTube Music, Apple Music, Amazon Music. It's just it's just everywhere. So if you would like to listen it to for free, I mean you don't have to buy it to listen. You can do that for free. Um, so yeah, just if yeah, <laughs> if you want to do that, that's great. Sorry for my English. I have no idea what I'm what I want to say. Mm. Let me scroll back for a second. I have a request. If you don't mind, after this, I'd if you can play Asturias, uh, Papyrus, um, the song requests are tied to donations, donations, super chats, super stickers or memberships. So if you if you support the stream financially, I'm happy to play that uh, song for you. Peace. That's that piece. That's a piece. <laughs> Did I miss anything? I'm good. No request. Play what you like. All right. All right. No problem, poppers. No problem. Um, if you would like, if you still would like to complete that, here's a tipping page. But also there are the integrated, uh, YouTube functions as well. Okay, up next, um, I'm going to play Undertale theme song for Reanadette, which is a video game music. Oh, let me find my couple. Where is my couple? Mm -hmm. Bad, bad streamer.
Okay, so Rana, that is, is another member of the channel, which is just so cool. So I'm going to play her uh, one of her favorite songs, one of her favorite video game musics. I'm also learning classical guitar. Please keep sharing tips. All right, I will, I will. in the first fret. All right. All right, let me let me do this. Mm. Okay, does anyone know the video game Undertale? It's a fun, fun little game. not uh, you know this is not entirely a classical guitar piece I mean it's just um, it's a classical guitar arrangement of a video game music but um, yeah this also happens on on my channel sometimes sometimes not too often <laughs> not very often but uh, I don't know it's just sometimes video game music is just I just I just like it I just like it a lot even though I'm not a gamer, um, some video game music is just really touching me and, and then I decide to learn it. For example, you can expect a recording on my channel in a, in a few, well, I think within two weeks uh, about the Last of Us theme song. 
I really love that theme song and I'm, I'm surely gonna record it. Thank you guys, thank you. I'm happy you like it. Final Fantasy games have great songs on it. I'm gonna check it out because a lot of people recommended uh, those songs already and uh, uh, I, I never I never looked them up actually. I should, I really should. There's a guy at my university who did classical arrangements for a Minecraft soundtrack. That's cool. That, that sounds great. Um, it can be very, very challenging because sometimes these pieces don't fit too comfortably on the classical guitar, but but still, it's just it's just a great challenge. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Godfish got interested. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I will, I will check them out. Uh, is your guitar custom made for you, but or you bought it from a website? Um, none of those. I mean, I, it's basically it's a luthier made guitar, so it's not um, it's custom made, but it wasn't made uh, specifically for me. Um, the luthier made four guitars at I think yeah, usually he makes four guitars a year or maybe more. I'm not sure about that, but when I visited the luthier, uh, he had four guitars and I got to try them and at the end uh, I picked the one I liked the most. So, and and all of these guitars were different and, and were, yeah, it had, had different constructions. <laughs> all right, um, last song. What what the last song should be? Mm, look, you you surely have nothing to request. Is <laughs> you you have nothing in mind currently? I'm I'm also not sure either. What the last song should be? Still no song requests from you. Maybe I'm just Maybe I'm just going to play the first song from my new album so you can yeah you can you can hear something and uh, and if you like it you can you know you can you can check out my the full full album later How does that sound It's a piece I love. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do the first song from my album, The Mermaid and the Fisher. Du, 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 du. Okay, I don't need sheet music for that. Okay. Uh, Bitter, no, I do not. I, I do not know that. All right, guys, um, last song is going to be The Mermaid and the Fisherman or Fisher by Maria Lindemann, written by Maria Lindemann. And this is uh, the first, fr first song on my new album, which you can buy through this link. Check it out, please.
All right. And uh, that's all I had in mind for today. Uh, the melt pieces, I wanted to show my progress on the Johan Kasper melt uh, program. I probably will stream that program um, next month too, to see how it improves. And I hope you enjoyed the song requests. Um, thank you for, for the members, for, for being so loyal to the channel. It's great. It's nice to have this community. And thank you so much for the tippers who, who supported today's stream. Uh, let me see. Let me see the chat quickly. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sweet. Ah. Uh... No, guys, thank you for listening. I really hope that you enjoy uh, these kind of streams too. Let me see. Found your album on Spotify. I was slightly confused by your name, though. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, because I'm not Beatrix Guitar. Well, yeah, it's. I know it, it's wild and it's really unexpected, but Guitar is not my bird's um, surname. Yeah, my I, I actually have a regular surname and guitar is, is not my, my birth name. I wasn't born under the name Beltrix Guitar. Guitar. <laughs> yeah, guitar isn't isn't my name. No, it's not. It's not. It's it's a big lie. You know, guys, just don't believe the things you read on the internet. It's it's just one big lie. <laughs> uh what's the name of the thing behind your guitar uh you mean you mean this this part uh this is called a guitar lift and um it's a it's a type of guitar support that helps me to uh you know to hold the guitar in this angled uh position without you know, with, without doing anything with my legs. So both of my feet are on the floor. So this thing supports a really healthy uh, posture, really healthy, balanced and symmetrical posture. But in the meantime, it helps you to play comfortably. So it's, it's great. It's top quality stuff. It's called guitar lift again. Let me type it. Guitar lift. You write it like this. I like guitar, not very good at classical composers. If you want to know something about blues, that that's more my cup of tea. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, sure. I need one of these. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I always recommend them. And every time someone uh, buys one, tells me that it's life changing and, and that they, they wouldn't go back to the life they lived before and stuff like that. And I, I totally can second that. Uh, it's, it's been a game changer. So good for, for my back. My back haven't, I, I haven't experienced back pain after practicing since I'm using this. Of course, you know, you can get tired and you can get sore. If you are if you are sitting for hours and hours, that's normal. But but it's it's pain free. They must sponsor you. No, they are not. But I should ask them. But now I, I I really I really should ask them to sponsor me at this point. <laughs> I, I it's with guitar lift. I'm like a, a bad cultist. I try to, I just try to convince everyone to, you know, to uh, join to our religion. <laughs> Hey Frank, uh, good to see you. How are you doing? Just woke up. All right, let me see if, if there's something I, I really need to answer. Uh, Carrie asks about the microphone and uh, I'm, I'm really bad at microphones. Uh, you know, like like amplification. I I know nothing about it. So it's just this is this is a microphone, and and that's it. Uh, <laughs> I think um, yeah, it's good. It's a good microphone. It's very good. Uh, S E Electronics S E eight. Um, it's great. It's just one microphone. Very simple. 
it's plugged in my PC through, you know, through an interface. But I think um, it's, I don't want to brag, but it's my sound production that does most of the job uh, because I'm, I'm very, I'm very focused on my tone in general. So I, I really work a lot on my sound production. And, and I also noticed that there are people who are using twice or, you know, like five times as expensive microphones as I, I do, but it sounds just really dry because, because they have a much brighter uh, sound production. So I really go for this warm sound when I'm producing, when I'm picking. And, and I think um, it, that's just what the microphone picks up mostly, I think. That's my idea. I, I hope that helps. Uh, Fozzi asks, uh, may I ask how much you have learned from, uh, learn from your guitar skills is self-taught and how much have you learned from teachers and professionals? So I've been studying at music university um, and then music school my entire life. And I graduated one and a half year ago. Yes, one and a half years ago. And um, I've learned I've learned the most lessons during these these times, you know, at university. Uh, it was really valuable and uh, and useful. But the most important concepts which I've learned came from private lessons and master classes mostly. So there are some musical templates which I'm using to crack each pieces, you know, to, to structure and define everything I don't understand for the first time. And these templates were something that I didn't really learn at the music schools, but I mostly learned from, from uh, master classes and, um, and you know, just like irregular courses uh, at, at guitar courses, which is weird. But it's, it's really per personal because, the, you know, these, these uh, teachers who I'm referring to right now are also university teachers. So they probably taught these very valuable concepts to their university students where they are teaching. So it's just, it's just an accident, I guess. I'm not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see a pattern into it. Whoops. Coffee. Yeah, I just ran out of my coffee. That song is very beautiful. Thanks. Uh, when the light out of your window is gone. <laughs> I'm happy you like it, Andrea. I'm really happy you enjoyed it. Uh, Ryan, I'm I'm not a Brazilian music fan, personally. I'm I'm just I'm just not. I'm just not. Um, I'm more into European twentieth century music. I, I I like European twentieth century music a lot. That's uh, maybe that's my favorite. Mm. All right. Well, this is all I planned for today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. This is this this was everything I planned. Um, it was very very helpful for me because now I understood a lot of things which I need to work on and which I was scared of, but actually it's working. So these these streams are super useful for me to to learn about my skills as well. And I hope on the other end it's it's very enjoyable. So that's that's uh, the goal. Hey Piro, welcome welcome. Happy to see you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, maybe just one more time, let me mention my album, which you can buy through my Bandcamp. Here's a link. And I'm happy to sign it for you. Really, I'm happy to sign it for you. 
Um, I'm gonna go live next time on Monday, but not here because I'm streaming my practice sessions uh, on Twitch three times a week. So I'm streaming on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, around the same time as I did now. So please consider following me on Twitch socials and I'll be back here in a week. So I plan, I plan to stream on YouTube like this uh, once a week. Um, yeah, around weekend. So either on Saturday or Sunday. Thank you, gods. Yeah, uh, you can find my links in the chat. You can find my Twitch uh, link in the chat. So just give me a follow and we'll see, see you there. It's usually a longer stream. So I'm live for three to four hours. It's a very, very long stream. It's a slower type of content, but it's, it's usually fun. It's, it's always fun. It's always fun. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we have a great community over there too. Yeah, and, and that's all. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on Monday or see you next time here. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye.